to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahabshai, Bahashem, Wakar Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this video. This lesson is going to a testimony about spiritual power, okay? And my wife, who comes to me with a lot of dreams and visions about spiritual power, me doing spiritual power and just in general, man, okay, according to the prophecy. So the other day, we were up late at night talking heavily about it, man. You know, that's a very, very uh, consistent conversation in my household, how we believe that spiritual power is coming, man. We just got to believe it, man. It's about faith, man, to move mountains, okay? So after that night, after talking late at night about it, she goes to work at 6 o'clock in the morning. And she texts me. I was still up because I work night shift. My schedule is night shift, so I'm always up. So she texts me the scripture of Elijah casting down fire, calling down fire on the 50th, okay, three times, man, which he did that when you read about Elijah, all right? So me reading that scripture is very comforting. Anytime I read different scriptures of those great ancient men that believed on that level, man, that spoke into existence, okay? So later that day, she texts me again. Now, she works for a hospital. She's a CNA, and there was a certain old man that she was not supposed to watch, it was somebody else's patient that was supposed to watch. But I guess the patient didn't like the person or something like that. So they called her to watch the individual. This was a 66-year-old Edomite man that was in a coma for 10 days after having complications with his surgery. So when she went in there to watch him, he's talking to her and he's telling her that there is no such thing as hell. He said he died, okay? He died when he was on the table getting the surgery in a coma, he said. And he said that he realized that there was no hell and that all spirits go back to the Heavenly Father, all right, which he said God. And the reason why he said he said that is because he thought that when he died, he was going to go to hell. Then he tells my wife, he said, do not tell my wife because his wife left the room, his family. And he goes, do not tell my wife, but there's a lot of evil coming for us, me and my family. OK, that's what he said. So she asked him, she said, so you saw the Most High? You saw Yahweh? He goes, that's his name? He said he saw the spirit of Yahweh. And my wife asked him, did you talk to him? And then he said that he was not important up there. Key word, he was not important up there. That's what he said. And he said, God is tricky. He said, God is real tricky. And she said, what do you mean? He says, he loves some and some he don't love. There's people that he loves and there's people he does not love. And the ones he loves is going to have miraculous spiritual power, man. Miraculous power. Now, keep in mind, like I said before, the night before, that morning pretty much, because it was late, so it, was, it crept into the morning time, we had this conversation about spiritual power coming. So keep that in mind. So he says the ones that Yahweh loves is going to have miraculous power. Have you seen it yet? Have you seen the spiritual power yet? And then she goes, No. Then he goes, you'll see it soon. Now, my wife is tripping out because my wife has a lot of different visions, you know, and dreams about spiritual power. See me do spiritual power, stopping bullets. I've had dreams, raising the dead and different things of that nature. So she just tripped out. Just listen to him talk. OK, so he says the people that God loves are going to be like God's, not God, but God like, which we know that's true. According to scriptures, it says you are God's man. We're not the most high. But we are gods and we're going to be God-like. And we know that's true according to the scriptures when we're changing to our immortal bodies. So he was very, very adamant to tell her this, man. And I was going to do the testimony the other day. And I'm glad I waited because two days later she saw him in the hospital and he did not remember the conversation. And she tried to ask him. He said, I'm not even a religious person. That's what he said. So he didn't remember nothing that happened, that whole conversation. But the things he said was true. How did he know that? How did he know the ones that God loved is going to have spiritual power soon and that she's going to see it? He didn't know that she had dreams of spiritual power. OK, he didn't know none of that, man. So that's how you know it was from Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, Yahweh Shah can speak through anybody, man, to reach you, to get your attention, man. OK, to comfort you. And that's what he said. He told my wife, I'm telling you these things to comfort you. How does he know what comfort is, man? <laughs> he don't know the truth. You see what I'm saying? So for the next day, for him not to know anything that happened, man, it's very, very spiritual, man. High level spiritual. OK, on a high level. Oh, also another thing that he told her when she told him that she was a Hebrew, 
he told her, he said, I know you're a Hebrew. And you're very lucky that you're a Hebrew. That's what he told her, man. Okay. Keep in mind that he just got out of a coma, man. And he's barely talking. Like, he's not talking loud. She had to scoot up to hear all this, man. You know? So, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashi Mount Shah, man, I did this testimony to comfort you, Aki, man. Okay, to tell y'all this, man, in the spirit, man. We talk about spiritual powers coming, and it is coming, man. Yahweh Bashi Mount Shah has shown it in many ways that that is a big part of prophecy. Okay? It's a huge part of prophecy that's going to make us a target when these things start happening, man. Okay? There are certain men within the body that are predestined to do this, man. And different things, okay, to lift faith, to get ready for Jacob's trouble, man. That's the time we're in. So I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. Let's go to John chapter 14. I'm going to start at verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And we know Yahweh Shah did many works, and also... Many, many works that were not written about. Okay? He did many works and miracles that are not written in the book. Thus says the scriptures. Okay? Verse 13. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. So that's prophecy, man. It said we're going to do greater things because he goes to his Father, man, on the right-hand side. Okay, let's read 12 again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Okay? So Yahweh Shem Shai is getting ready to fulfill this in the spirit, man. Okay? And I knew that before, that Edomite said all those things, but it was just extra, extra confirmation. Like, wow, the way it happened, man. Especially the fact that he forgot the next day, the next couple of days that he even had that conversation. He don't even remember at all. That's how you know it's a spirit. Yahweh Shema was shot that set that up, man. Okay, based on a conversation, like I said before, that me and my wife had to make before. You know, spiritual power is a very consistent, fervent conversation in my household. You know, so, hey, brothers, man, just believe, man. Just believe. Continue to pray. Continue to fast. Because that fame, different things that are going to shock the world is coming very soon, man. We just got to continue to hold on to the crown. So I hope this is edifying to all you Akin men. And sisters that believe, you know, I hope this was edifying, man, to hold on, man. Hold on. We're about to see things that's going to shake this whole world up. And it's going to be beautiful to see and very comforting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakaq, Kodash, and give me the spirit to do this video. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh, my the truth and sincere. Shalom.